Hey, what's good YouTube? I'm Clarence and today I want to talk about some vinyl music. Today we're going to talk about my dad's music collection. I lost my dad back in 2020. The one thing I wanted to do was revive his music, his albums. Most of them have been sitting in his basement for many years and you guys know when things sit in a, in a basement for years sometimes they can get a little stale, a little musty. So I was able to bring his albums over to my place, really work on cleaning them up and airing them out, just trying to get them um, back to how they were when I was a kid. Probably brought over probably over 300 of his albums on top of the things that I had as well. This journey kind of took a while to get things in order. Uh, another thing I did was bring along his original turntable. Now that needed to be repaired. It needed to be, um, you know, just taken to the shop and they had to kind of you know, order some parts to get it back to where it used to be. So I was able to, to revitalize his turntable as well. One uh, artist that he truly loved was Parliament Funkadelic. So what I have in my lap today is just um, all of his P-Funk album so i want to talk about them share them with you kind of share some of the memories i have all right so we're going to start off with um this uncle jam album this is one that uh i thought was a cool album the cool thing about the parliament uh p-funk albums you know everything was kind of like a comic book you had so much that you could read it was so artistic um really good album Uncle Jam. Uncle Jam wants you to funk with him. So, uh, Funkadelic. Uncle Jam. All right, this one is Funkadelic Hardcore Jollies. So it's another one that he had. I don't remember this one a whole lot, but I definitely remember that first one. All right, here's another one. All right, this is the clones of Dr. Funkenstein. Some of the songs on this one, um, Gaming On You, Dr. Funkenstein, Children of Production. I love that song. We are children of production. Nice album. All right, we all remember this one. All right, Computer Games. So this is one that I had to go and um, buy because um, I couldn't find his original one, which he played like millions of times. Um, some of the songs on this one includes Man, Man's Best Friend, Loopzilla, and of course, uh, Atomic Dog. Classic album. All right, this is a George Clinton project. Some of my best jokes are friends. Pretty cool album cover. Lots to read. All right, this is the Cinderella Theory. Another George Clinton single. Another one of his albums, which couldn't find the original jacket, but this one is R&B Skeletons in the Closet. Then he has some 12-inch singles, Quickie. Oh, she won. It was a quick A. Double O O. I like Double O O. That's a 12 inch single. Why Should I Dog You Out? That's another one. This is a 12 inch single. And this is when Prince started doing some things with Paisley Park, with Prince. All right. Another 12 inch single. This one is called The Agony of Defeat. And this one just brings me back to when I was a kid. I heard this song on the radio and I uh, had never heard my dad play this song. So I ran home, I said, Dad, you know Clinton got a new song. Um, they were talking about the feet. And uh, he, he actually ran to the record store and um, brought home this song. And man, he was so happy to hear something new from Clinton and he played it all the time. Agony of Defeat. Check it out if you've never heard that song. Um, 
All right, this is George Clinton in the P-Funk All-Stars. If anybody gets funked up, it's going to be you. And this is uh, another 12-inch single. And um, it has a couple of versions of a cappella. They have an album version featuring Eric Sermon and MC Breed. So he started doing some things with, with, with the hip-hop generation. This one is called You Shouldn't Have Bit Fish. Couldn't find the original um, jacket, so he had it inside of this Cas Casablanca uh, cover. You shouldn't have bit fish. I remember that one. A 12 inch of Loopzilla. If you like Loopzilla, check it out. So, you know, um, George Clinton also had groups under him, such as the Bride of Funkensteins, the Brides of Funkenstein. Um, and also um, Bootsy Collins, just to name a few of his groups. So this is The Brides of Funkenstein. A uh, couple of songs on here. Disco to Go, Worship, um, Nappy, Birdie, Just Like You, When You're Gone. Just a few of the songs on there. Here's some Bootsy Collins. Bootsy's Rubber Band, Stretch It. Another point of view. I I'd rather be with you. you. Guys know that one. I'd rather be with you. This is Bootsy's Ultra Wave. That's another one. Ah, the name is Bootsy. Let's open this one up. You know, Bootsy played that guitar, man. He was bad on that guitar. Bootsy Collins. Alright, got some more 12-inch singles. This is called uh, Summer Swim. This is George Clinton and the P-Funk All-Stars. Another P-Funk All-Stars. This uh, is Urban Dance Floor Gorillas. Some of the songs on here. Generator Pop, Acupuncture, Pumping It Up, Copycat, Hydraulic Pump. This one, this is an old Funkadelic one. This is some of, uh, I'm sorry, America's Eats Is Young. America Eats Is Young. I can remember um, a Public Enemy song where Chuck D says, Day by day, America eats is young. I think he got it from this Funkadelic album. All right. How about this one? Parliament Funkadelic Chocolate City. That's Parliament. This goes way back. Chocolate City. All right, this is the Parliament Live album. Uh, this is the way we funk you up. Dr. Funkenstein, the Undisco Kid, Star Child, Gaming on You, Tear the Roof Off, The Sucker, Metley, Give Up the Funk. Um, Fantasy is Reality, classic album, live, you know, in concert. I want you guys to see that one. This is Tales of Kid Funkadelic. There's a lot going on with this album. Just a lot of the art. It was very artsy. All right. We actually had two copies of the uh, Parliament Live. How about this one? One Nation Under a Groove. <laughs> Shout out to the missus. When, um, when I brought the albums, all his albums home, or brought them here, um, this is the one album where I couldn't find it. Didn't see it. It's been misplaced. So my wife, purchased this for me and um, right after he passed away so I thought that was just so nice of her to buy that a lot of memories from that album this is Parliament Mothership Connection P-Funk want to get you funked up Mothership Connection Unfunky UFO just to name a few of the songs on this album alright it's a story about this one this is that, is that Funkadelic Maggot Brain album. When I was a kid, 
this album just it, it creeped me out because you had this lady buried alive with her head sticking out the ground screaming you know and then you look at the back of the cover is her skull like she never got out of that you know that ground out the grave or whatever and here is the uh, the inside of this album so listen to this album as a adult man the intro song that maggot brain intro with the gentleman on the guitar it's like one of the most incredible um, guitar solo songs that I've ever heard I turn it up on this turntable and oh it just I just zone out it's just incredible check out the intro the first song on maggot brain it is incredible all right so we got fuck Funkin' Teleki versus the Placebo Syndrome. So this one has Bop Gun, Flashlight, uh, Funkin' Teleki, Placebo Syndrome, Sir Nose, Devoid of Funk, and Wizard of Finance. So that's that album right there. Man, whoo, Flashlight. Heard that one a million times. And then the last one I have is this uh, Parliament. It's called Glory Holla Stupid. Um, one of the songs, let's see. So you got uh, the Big Bang the Theory on this one. The theme from the black hole. I like that one. I heard that one a lot as well. All right. So just wanted to kind of run down my dad's Parliament P-Funk collection. Uh, before I leave, I do want to talk about a couple of things. First of all, I need to show you this album organization hack. So I got this off of YouTube. So I went to the record store. I grabbed a whole bunch of uh, 25 cent albums. And what I did was uh, create these organizers using uh, the albums. Okay. So what I did was glue the uh, album to the jacket and then from there you can see it kind of protrudes out a little bit so when I stick this into my album um, area this protrudes out so I can label it I labeled this one funk for P funk so I can get to my album so I have everything alphabetized so I can get to all my albums anything with A and B and C so everything behind me is alphabetized and I found this hack on YouTube so I wanted to share this with you guys so hopefully if you got a big collection and you want to be a little bit more organized give that a try tell me what you think um, one last thing once again thanks for watching today I hope you enjoyed um, this collection that I shared with you guys I also have started a new YouTube channel and I started it a few months ago and it's it's called rare breed lifestyle lifestyle is spelled L Y F E S T Y L E and this album this sorry this channel is geared towards fragrance fashion and men's style so so far I've probably uploaded about 15 or 20 different videos you guys if you're into that kind of content, I invite you to take a look at it. I will put that uh, my channel link in the description below so you guys can also go into that. Tell me what you think. And once again, just thanks for stopping by, checking out something that is near and dear to me. I'll be doing more uh, videos regarding music that I have. I have uh, a ton of vinyl, still got a lot of CDs, got cassettes, but mainly what I'm doing behind me, I'm playing the vinyl in most cases. So, take care, have a good one. Peace.